This conference will now be recorded. All right, good afternoon and welcome to the, sorry, welcome. Good afternoon and welcome to the Clear Lines training session. I am your host, Kip Cohen. It is Tuesday afternoon on the 26th of February, 2019. Um, I am here for the next about 60 minutes to uh, review the clear lines uh, indicator running on the Medved Trader platform. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, sorry, I was just getting a couple of things set up. Um, oh, really? Okay. What's, what is the current issue today, Tim? The chart that stopped refreshing went blank when I tried to clear and backfill. Huh. The other charts are working fine. Hmm. Did you try? So it totally went blank. You went main and did you do clear first? Do me a favor, go main, click backfill, and tell me what you see. What does it say for the source, and what does it say for the backfill? Does it have the correct source? Smart. And OHLC, open, high, low, close. Okay. So let's change the default source instead of smart and let's select whoever your main broker is that we're using. Like I have TD Ameritrade set for mine. Maybe that's the issue. And then let's go to also to settings. Uh, let's go to the actual full dashboard. Um, hold on a second. Sources. Um, now it backfilled, but not updating. Hmm. Okay. When you go to the dashboard and then go to um, settings and you go to backfill source, do you, what do you ha select your main broker for that also? Like I have TD here selected. And, um, Uh, I don't know if it matters for back historical backfill. I'm going to leave that on smart source. Um, let's check one other thing. 
settings, data sources, configure accounts. Whoever your main broker is, do you have it set to smart source priority as high? I would set that to your main broker to, to high. TD selected there. Okay. And you have everything checked. Level one, level two, backfill, historical backfill, news, option chain. Is it all checked? Okay, now that we've done those changes, why don't you restart and let me know what happens? I want you to restart. So do a file and, and a restart. I know I spoke to um, the Medved guys, I know they were, they said they were working on it. So I don't know if they have the actual resolution yet. Let me know if that helps once you um, once that happens. Restarted those two charts still don't update. Okay, and which time frames are those? One minute. Okay, do you have a three minute next to it? We're going to try something different. So here's what I want you to do. Okay, those are five or 15. I want you to close X out that chart. Those two, for, well, first X out, is it the, your upper left one like right here? It's the, okay, I want you to exit like click the X and close that chart down, okay? And then I want you to go to the five minute next to it and go to main where it says new chart. Click here where it says same as this chart, okay? And then I want you to slide that over to that spot and then change it to a one minute or whatever your time frame is, three minute or one minute, whatever it is, okay? And then I want you to do the same thing here. I want you to close this one down and then do the same thing. Main, new chart, same as this chart, slide it over and then change the time frame. And then you're gonna have to re save your layout. Go up to file, save layout, and then whatever that one's called, resave it. I, th I think something was maybe um, clogged up. I hate to use that term, but maybe something was kind of clogged up in there and causing a problem. And that maybe the, those two charts were corrupted for some reason. I, I mean, it could have been anything weird, but that seems to be, to me, is the best solution is just close out that window completely, get rid of those and put in new ones. <laughs> you like that clogged up? 
It's a technical term, right? It's it was clogged up somehow. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad that's working for now. Keep me posted. Let me know if that's a permanent fix or not. Um, so any any other specific things y'all want me to cover? The others were a different symbol. Okay, well, keep keep me posted. Let me know if that. When I change back to the original symbol, now it's clogged. What was the symbol? Lenar. Hmm. It did it again with Lenar. Try going back and loading, reloading the now the layout. Like just click load layout or just go to file load layout and then click on that one and see if that does anything. Oh, any symbol I try, but Len works. Huh. I don't know. I'm baffled. I'm totally baffled on that one. So is it it's it is or is not working now? Back to not working or is working? Works but no len. Okay. That's strange. Maybe tomorrow it'll work. I don't know. That's just bizarre world. Okay. Any other specific stuff you guys need uh, covered today? If not, we'll just, I didn't really have anything planned for the session today, specifically. Um, you know, we spent some time, I, I do want to share with you um, a couple of things. One is I, I discovered today when you're using Fibonacci, you want to make sure that this snap to candle is selected under draw. Because what that'll do is, um, and let me just, let me blow up this chart. Let me go to a 15 minute. What that'll do is when uh, snap to candle is selected, when you go to draw your Fib levels, it'll, it'll click and grab each end of the candle so you're not fighting to get it in the right spot it it actually sticks to it it snaps to it so um you'll have to check that and then again that's probably something you're going to want to um once you've done that and you have to check it make sure it's on each chart i i, I when i checked it it seemed to go across all but one and and then um but that'll help with withdrawing fib levels. I take a different chart that was working and put Len in installed. That is just weird. That's really weird. Do do me a favor and go to um, help, file help, send log and settings, and put a note that that says something about when I go to Len my charts stall out something like that so they know and send them that that'll that'll give them the report chris how are you is that chris from uh kansas city Chris? I think it is. We've missed you. I hope you're doing better.
Oh, Etsy just rolled over. Look at that, right off a nice little triple top, too. All right, well, what I want to do is I'm going to go to my two chart layout. And I know we have some new people here. I just want to spend a few minutes discussing the basics of the system and then answer any questions. And then we can kind of go back into uh, any more specifics. Um, so for, for those of you that are, are new or first time here with me, welcome. You're looking at the Medved Trader platform with the clear lines indicator. Clear lines indicator is, uh, is what I developed to uh, as a replacement for the wise trade algorithm when wise trade shut down. It is extremely close um, with a couple exceptions of the fact that it does not use a rolling weekly and monthly chart. It's a calendar month and week. And there is, uh, we don't have a smoothing feature that that Wise Trade had. So you'll see a little more jagged jaggedness in some of the charts. Okay, that's the major differences. The positive addition that I added is you'll notice some red and green arrows. Green arrows are. Uh, confirmations of a red and green line cross upwards okay and once it locks in red is a cross downwards um, the medved platform is a more advanced much more further advanced trading platform than the old wise trade so it allows you to to do a lot more things with it there is a one other major difference is there are two types of charts there is a historical chart which you see on the right side which will be your, your monthly, your weekly, and your daily chart, your long, mid, and short. And there's even a quarterly and annual if you want to view that. The left chart is going to be an intraday chart. So that's any minute time frame, including uh, less than a minute, if you want a half minute or quarter minute. Uh, it has uh, preset time frames, and then you can add custom time frames. So if you want a two-hour time frame or you want a – Eight minute time frame. You can put in whatever you, whatever you want. You want a half minute time frame. 0.5. You can put in any any time frame. Um, the Medved system allows us to select which uh, how many time frames you want to show. So Wise Trade, you had basically either 21 intervals or 20 intervals are 51. So here you can do what anything. If I want to show 50 or if I want to switch it to 20 or I go to 100 intervals. And uh, I can scroll backwards in time, which you could not do that on Wise Trade. And I can go back on the daily chart for, I mean, this is, that goes back on the daily chart. That's a half minute going all the way back to the end of November. I can view what, what was going on. And, and same on the historical charts. I can scroll backwards in time. Whoops. Hold on. I can scroll. I can scroll backwards in time. This goes way back. This goes back to 1993. 1993. Back when Apple was a couple bucks a share. You can scroll back in time and see what the charts look like. So you could not do that with Wise Trade. That's a huge advantage to be able to do that, to see further back in time. If you like to review history. Hey, um, Tim, what you want to do is go to File, go scroll down to Help, and go over to here where it says Send Log Settings to Support, right here. File, Help, Send Log Settings to Support. Um, so there's, there, that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. That's some of the advantages to the, to the platform. It is definitely more advanced. So there's a little more of a learning curve and that's why we do these twice weekly sessions. Um, 
in addition to, I record all of these and post them on YouTube, so you can always go back and watch the sessions as well. Um, in addition to that, you have the ability to also overlay candlesticks behind the red and green lines. So you'll notice that you know the red and green lines are not price charts. They're buying and selling momentum or buying and selling pressure charts. So price will move uh, higher or lower than the lines. And, and so that's why I like to use the candles because I want to see exactly where price goes to. But you can you have the ability to flip the switch basically and turn that on and off. Uh, you also have the ability to trade, make trades directly on the charts from a multitude of brokerage accounts, depending on who you have. Um, Medved is actually linked to several different brokers. So if you have an account with, you can see I have my TD Ameritrade, I have an interactive uh, brokers demo account, I have an Ally Invest for MB Trading, and I have an Ally Invest account. All of these are integrated and I can trade from any one of those accounts. Uh, additionally, they have um, uh, the ability to trade with Interact, well, you already saw E-Trade, um, Gain Capital Futures, if you trade futures, if you're from Canada, Quest Trade, uh, Rhythmic and Robinhood and Tradier. They also have some cryptocurrency brokers as well. But you can you you can trade directly from the charts from any one of those accounts. You just select on the drop down which account you want to trade out of, and then you make your trade. And and I'll show you. Uh, I'm I'm just going to randomly pick something that at least that I can reasonably put here. We'll we'll use Hertz. We'll put a we'll put a short here on Hertz. So you. Pick the number of shares, hit the sell button if you're going to short it. It, it sets a, a trading capsule, and then when you're ready to commit the order, you just click the little check button, and then it sends the order. And then if you want to set a stop, you can come in and put a stop on either chart, either one. I can put a stop in behind it, so I can select buy, and I can scroll up wherever I want that stop to be. So if I want it to be up here, and then I can s commit it, and it sets the stop. If I want to see where the price action is, I can click the uh, hide primary chart button to bring back my price chart so I know where price is at. So there are a lot of uh, cool features to the platform. You can do, draw Fibonacci levels on, the, um, on this same chart. So all I have to do is um, go to, I, I do the fifth, first 15 minute, I select my Fibonacci. Uh, I'm gonna go to 50 bars just so it's easier to see. I draw the first 15 minute Fib, and then I can see, now I go back to, we'll go back to, let's go to a one minute. So I can see we just broke through um, the 618 Fib level on the one minute. Uh, if I want to move my stop, all I have to do is I can uh, either double click on the price and I can use the up down arrow or I can use the roller ball on my mouse and roll the price up and down wherever I want to adjust my stop to. So if I want to go to 30 and then I just click the M to modify the order or I can just grab the green line on the bar. Uh, on the from the capsule and move it up and down or I can grab the capsule and actually move the capsule wherever I want to set my stop and you'll notice that you get this M I had to send the modified order so it allows you to very quickly like very quickly modify orders there's no going back into you know cancel change like you had to do on wise trade or or you know any other kind of pain in the butt methods. It's a very simplistic, just grab the capsule, move it to adjust your stop. If you wanna put in a bracket order, if your broker allows it, you can do bracket orders. I have bracket here, I can place, uh, so this would be again a buy. So I can set a limit, if I wanna set a limit down, down here, and then I set my stop up here. And then once I've selected my two locations, 
I can confirm by displaying the, the order, clicking the I button, cover at 1988, stop 2028, and then commit the order. And now I have a bracket set. Once I set the bracket, I can also move the, any side of the bracket. I can move the bottom end of the bracket up or down, and I can move the upper end of the bracket up or down by just grabbing the line and then modifying the order. Again, very quickly being able to adjust orders. So for, for active traders, this is a, an amazing tool. Uh, they also, on the Medved platform, have a button called Flatten, which you can get to by either um, going to the trading button, it's right here, or if you if you right click and add it to the quick access toolbar, that's what I've done. All of these are items that I've added to my quick access toolbar. It allows me to quickly, rather than going to you know one of these windows, uh, hitting a tab and going to trading, you know I just I have it the my most frequently used buttons I have on a quick access toolbar. So it's, it's a very customizable platform. It allows you to do a lot of different things. It allows you to um, kind of build it out and customize it however you want. You can create a multitude of layouts depending on how you like to trade, how many monitors you have, how many stocks you want to watch. Um, what I had developed for initially for the Wise Trade community was a very simplistic kind of a multi time frame layout which is um it is hold on so the clear i call it the queer queer clear lines swing or position trading layout i think that's the one so what this is, this is like when you start up clear lines for the first time, this is the layout you're going to actually get. It's going to be an eight time frame layout for one stock. So you can see the month, the week, the day, the 130, the 60, the 30, the 10, and the 2. And then from here, you can kind of customize it. What I do for the new users is that I actually will um, log into your remotely log into your computer. Uh, we'll start with this layout and then we'll discuss what kind of layout you personally want, what's best for you. And then I'll build and mold a layout best suited for your, it also depends on your computer, your resolution, screen resolution, how many monitors you have. And then as you get more comfortable with it, then you can build your own layouts. But we start with this um, just because a lot of you were old wise traders and want I like to see eight time frames. What what's happened is I find that a lot of people just want they want something a little more simple. The two chart layout tends to be um, whoops. Where'd my two chart layout go? Why did I lose it? Did I? Oh no. Did I X somehow? I screwed up my two chart layout. Um, well, that stinks. I got to redo it. Hold on. Let's just use one of my other layouts. Let's see what this one is. Nope. Layout. Oh, here, we'll just use this. Um, It's, but it's, it's very modular and very customizable. Um, let's 
Oops. I don't know how I screwed that up. Oh, I wonder if I have, hold on. Back up. Nope. Actually, I have it. I know where it is. I can get it from somewhere. Hold on. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's all right. Let's... All right, day 50, um, and I do want to show, the other thing is that you can add different indicators. So technically clear lines is an indicator. I'm going to add um, average true range. Oops, no, I want it down on the bottom actually. And I'm just going to squinch it down there. Okay. Okay. So, um, two chart layout, hold on, two chart layouts, a three minute current day, I am no candle. I think that's the correct file. Save layout, two chart layout. I don't know how that got messed up. Okay, I got it back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but uh, uh, several, just like a simplistic like this, just a, a two charts, a historical on the right and a intraday on the left. And then they can, they can look at their long, you know, their day, week and month real quick on this window. And then they can scroll through inter, uh, intraday. If, if you prefer watching more than one stock at a time, then you have to go to, uh, like I use, whoops, that's not it. I use the my uh, popper dropper layout. So I have, and you can't see the off on my other screen, but I have uh, one minute, three minute, and five minute of one chart and one stock and one, three, five on the other on the bottom level. So then I can, at any given time, I can be watching two charts. If you have more of like screen space, then you can put a lot more in there. The, um, so you'll notice in the upper left corner, you'll see it's the, the index window. You know, again, it's modular. You can move it. I kind of just set it up. I built the layout like this because I felt like it was kind of easy on the eyes. So you look at your indexes up at the top left corner. And then up here uh, on the upper right side is the watch list. And the watch list is a group of symbols that you add in. You add, there's right here, edit portfolios. They call them portfolios or watch list. So kind of like the old basket. And you can, you just start typing whatever symbols you want to add them. And I kind of change out some of these every day from this list. But um, you can move them around. You can, you know, you can add, click and grab and, and move them. But if you click on one of them, so you'll notice there's a blue push pin right here and here, and there's also one here. That means these are all linked together. So if I click the SJM, then it's going to switch it here, okay? Or I can type on the anywhere on the chart on my keyboard, and it opens up a little window like you see, to enter a symbol, and then I just hit enter on the keyboard, and I can load a symbol that way. So there's there's multiple ways to add symbols. You can also, this is a really cool feature, and a lot of us really don't use it, but um, you do have the ability to, and, and let me 
make this easier for you to see. Hold on. I'm going to take off the... I'm going to put in... Um, let's put in QQQ. Whoops. Three Qs. Okay. So if I want to compare two different symbols, I can do that. So all I have to do is, let's say the other symbol I want to compare it to is uh, Microsoft. I can type the symbol and then I can click compare symbol. And what it does is it puts Microsoft here as a line chart. So I can compare the price movement of Microsoft to the queues. And then I can edit the parameters for Microsoft. So if I want to change the thickness of the line or the color of the line, I want it to be blue. Um, I can base it on just the close or the open, the high, the low, or, but I, you can compare multiple symbols. Again, just another really, really great feature. And then I delete it if I want to delete it. You can pop up, you know, the charts bigger or smaller. Um, again, you can add, there's kind of an endless, for those that really like indicators, there's all kinds of indicators. Now we use, we actually use, in addition to obviously volume and my clear lines, we use daily pivots. We also use um, parabolic stop and reverse and uh, VWAP, which is the, the um, volume weighted average price. We find that to be a pretty good indicator for uh, looking for price targets. But, you know, I always tell people there's no right or wrong answer what indicators you, you add in. You just want to use what works best for you and what helps you. And so uh, over the years, we've kind of refined what we like and, and what we tend to use. Um, you, you have the ability to build multiple watch lists. So I have like a NASDAQ 100 list and, and there's different formats on how you can view, whoops, on how you can view your list. So you can view it uh, in an extended format with all the price data, or you can view it in a, um, in a, uh, what they call a tile format, or, there's all kinds of different ways. They're, they have these little chart view windows that have little mini charts. And you can select what you want that uh, time frame to be. You know, if you want that to be a 10 minute, you can make those little windows just 10 minute time frames. It's kind of funky. But you can you can select however dynamic colors you want dynamic colors. <laughs> um, chart period one hour. Oops, did I just or one day? There you go. Hold on. Now now we're just viewing each one as on a daily basis for the current day. It's refreshing all of the charts. Um, and then they have these other different little, you know, with, with buy and sell buttons. I think I need to remove CA, don't I? You can delete, cut. I guess CA is not, shouldn't be on the list. I need to update my NASDAQ 100 probably.
there's uh, scanning tools. There's all kinds of other like really great stuff. But I, I typically just use my um, one watch list, popper dropper list. Okay, hold on. I forgot how to do this. Where's Norm? <laughs> Trying to remember how I increase the size. Is that the right? Tile simple too. Oh, there we go. Um, view. Increase, view, increase. Oh, that's too big. Still too big. Okay, I guess that's right. Hold on, let me restart. Any questions about the platform? About how to use it? You can you can enter your questions in the chat box. There we go. Now it's back. How do you add the Display of the candle countdown. Okay, so good question. Hold on one second. So the, the candle countdown, you'll notice there's a couple different things I have on my chart. One is the, um, it's a, it's a countdown of how much time, it'll show you how much time's left and what interval you're on. So like, you know, one minute and there's 20 seconds left. And then three minute and there's 217. So th there's a setting under main, no, under um, view options right here called candle countdown. You need to make sure that's checked. And then there's also one, there's a pace and a pressure. So pace and pressure, um, this one is the pace and this one is the pressure. And I want to give you the exact correct definition. So um just so you know exactly pace okay so candle countdown shows you how far along the current candle is and how long it is until the next candle is uh, started on the chart it's obviously different for the time-based charts versus the non-time-based um pay uh where's the pace pace is like the candle countdown it shows up as a small box on the chart that can be moved dragged anywhere on the chart what it shows is the pace of trading so you can set pace parameters by right clicking on the box the value pace shown is the total trading volume for the last period so whatever compared to an average volume for a for such a period in the last averaging period, so like nine. Values over 100 mean greater than average trading pace. So it, it, it's like when tr trading momentum picks up, that number gets higher. When it slows down, it goes down. The pressure, which is that red and green bar on the right side of a chart, it shows how many of the last 30 trades went off at the bid versus the ask. If more trades went off at the bid, that shows selling pressure and the bar would be red. If more at the ask, it's green. So it's kind of cool because then you get this these bars that tells you if it's more buying or selling and, and then the, the pressure, the pace, the pace and the pressure. It's kind of interesting. And the countdown. <laughs> it's kind of a lot of stuff, but... Um,
but it's all, you know, again, you can add or remove any of that. Again, go to view options and uh, Hold on one second. Um, there's other things you can add and remove. You can turn on and off. You know, I don't use a lot of this. I don't know what this invert chart does. That's also where your your candles are. If you want to turn them on and off, hide primary chart. You can turn them off. I just added it here, so I have it on my my uh, quick access toolbar. If I want to turn them off, What else? Any other specific questions about uh, the platform? How to use? How to do something? It again, it's kind of it's kind of action packed. There's a lot to the platform that you can do. Uh, you can keep it as simple as you want, or you can make it as insanely intense as you want. just depends on what works best for you. Um, there, there are some advanced things in, in the MedVed platform. They just added a, a new feature. If you're into um, candle patterns, they added a, a candle pattern. Basically, uh, it like it's a, an alert when, when, a, when a certain candle pattern is met, it'll notify you. So for, for if, if you're into that, that's a new feature. The, the, this is kind of one of the things I love about the MedVed team. You know, they're very responsive to our needs and they're very uh, much about advancing their platform for their customers. They take suggestions to heart. If you have a request, they've taken suggestions from us and added features to the software. They're, they're very, you know, the, the only thing is, I'll tell you, MedVed does not give phone support. They only give online support. Email, basically, is their support method, okay? Um, I, I support their product, obviously, as well, to an extent. And I will give you phone support. I give you uh, uh, support through uh, using remote access if I need to help you out with something, uh, using TeamViewer. But, um, you know, they're, they're, I like that they're still a small company because they are very responsive to, to us and our needs. And, and their platform is great. I mean, it's, it's integrated with a lot of brokers. It's, uh, you know, there, there's, there is a lot to it. So that it's, it's a little bit of a educational period, but, you know, the, those that are using it, I can tell you they love it. They're very, I mean, who, uh, those of you if, that are currently using it, what do you have to say? Bruce? Ron? Bob? Any of you guys, give me your, give me your, give me your two cents so I can share it with the crew. What you think? Ron says, great. It's great. Start with small trades. Bruce says, it's great. Start with small trades. Yeah. I mean, you definitely have to learn it. It is a different style um, for trading. 
it's a different, uh, getting used to the trading aspect is, but I, th I think most everybody has said it's, you know, about two weeks is their learning curve. Um, see what else can I tell you no, we don't have a lot of time left so if there's any other questions oh, I was mentioning the flatten trade button so if you're in a trade and you just want to get out now or you actually or if you want to reverse it you can reverse it but you just click this flatten confirm flattening the position and what it does is it exits and it closes out your other your open orders so it's like a quick pink and you're done pink pink <laughs> get you out quickly um, you'll notice uh, this window is is basically your quote data so it's your last price your bid your ask the change the volume open high low and then you have this is the interval data so as you scroll across the the information in this window changes and that this window only pops up when you're on that chart so you're not stuck seeing it on all the charts this one is only available when whichever one you you select it for so i i have it on uh, my two left windows because i don't need it on all all my charts i just need to see it somewhere because it applies to all all of my windows all my upper windows this this window applies to both of these. This window applies to both of these. Um, what else? The, um, as far as, again, my support, I provide, uh, if you subscribe to ClearLines, uh, for new subscribers, I will assist you getting set up, give you a minimum of at least an hour of my time to remote in, help you out. Um, if, if you need additional time, I will provide that as well. I provide these weekly sessions, Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're geared towards assisting new users with uh, how to set up the platform. Um, and then um, if you are uh, also a subscriber to our alerts, if you do the combination of alerts and clear lines, then um, we have, um, we use it during the day so you get a lot of um, interaction with the platform there as well it's uh to again a fantastic uh, platform it's it's once you get it it's pretty easy to use um just a couple little quirks here and there but uh, oh news you'll notice these little yellow bulbs so the little yellow bulb means there's a news related to that stock and there, there's actually a setting for for news sources under uh, configuring so your broker certain brokers give you news and then um there are subscription like i think the fly is subscription based and so if the, if there's a news story on a stock that you're watching on your chart, you'll see the bulb, or if it's up on your 
watch list. So like Hertz, you'll see the little yellow bulb here. If I click it, why is it not opening the, the news window? It's supposed to open up the news window. Hold on. There we go. If you click it, it's, it opens up this window. And then you'll see it right here, Bob is highlighted and, and it has the current stories and it actually has all the different stocks in your, these are all the stocks in that uh, watch list. So any of them that have a story, the bulbs lit up and I can select it. It tells you what news source. And then if you want to read the story, you just click on it, double click it and it'll take you to that news. Again, that's another really great feature. feature. All right, we just got a couple more minutes to go, um, at least before the market closes. I don't know why that one's, that's weird. Hold on. It hurts. Okay, there it goes. Once you've read the stories, then it turns the bulb off. See, the bulb's gone now. All right, guys, if there's no other questions, um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, a couple quick things. Uh, let's see. If you're interested in learning more about clear lines, a couple things you can do. You can go to equity-alerts.com. There, there's some information here. Uh, if you're interested in signing up, Clear Lines is $59 a month if you have uh, an account with Ally Invest. If you don't have an account with Ally Invest, you, you um, will have an additional $19.99 a month um, for the, the platform fee to MedVed Trader after 30 days. They give you 30 days free. And then that's only if you have an account with either uh, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, or Interactive Brokers. If you're with Schwab or Fidelity, you're going to have to get a secondary data feed, which is Stock Watch. That's an additional about $25 a month. Um, you can email me if you have questions. Kip at equity-alerts.com. Happy to answer any of your questions about the platform or if you want me to call you and talk about it. I, I'm happy to do that. Um, I don't give a free trial only because I, I you know, I, I get end up giving you a lot of my time, and I, I, I feel like fifty-nine dollars a month is pretty fair. So, um, if you're not satisfied with the platform after a month, then you're welcome to cancel. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't, but. Um, if you have, again, if you have an Ally Invest account, then that's all you have to pay because they offset the cost from MedVed and their data will power it. If you have a TD Ameritrade account, your first 30 days of uh, the MedVed fee is, again, the 1999 is free. No, no need for quotes that TD will power it, just $59 a month. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, I'll be back on this broadcast on 30. Same link I use every time. So just save the link. If you want to come back on Thursday, if you have additional questions, again, just email me if you think of something after the fact. And uh, have a great one. I will see some of you guys tomorrow in my uh, other uh, webinar, the Equity Alerts. Have a great one. Good night, all.